everyone welcome to 30 something beauty uh today we are going straight into sephora favorites prime set and go smooth blur and perfect now i have been looking at all the different sephora favorites that come out this time of year there were a couple others that caught my eye but at the end of the day not a lot of them seem worth it there's one more there's one more i really want I'm not going to name it because last year it sold out before even the VIB sale. So I'm keeping that one to myself. If I can get it, I'll show it to you later. Uh, but this is the one that I was like, yes, yes, that works for me. Um, I will say the Sephora Favorites Best Sellers one looks really good if you haven't tried some of those products. Uh, for me, it just wasn't worth the cost. Uh, but it comes with a like legit full-size beauty blender so that on its own is $20 it had one of the highest values I will say that's something I look at too so this one was $42 retail value 124 some of them that value difference is still I mean they're all good but it wasn't as amazing um, I'm literally sitting here undoing the tape because I have not opened this yet so this one I liked because it has some primers I wanted to try, and it comes with this small Laura Mercier setting powder, which I'm very excited about. I can keep that in my purse. Plus, I've never got one of the Sephora favorites before. I've bought plenty of like the other value sets based on brand, but never one of the mixed ones from them. So, that's everything. That's how it comes. Look how pretty. So let's go through it one by one. So it's easiest if you pop the whole thing out. Plus, this is a real sturdy, it's a good box. I'm gonna use this for some other things. I can already tell. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna start with the powder. Oh, that's nice. So they give you the little puff for the powder too. They put it separate, but I don't know if you can tell, but based on the size of my hand, that's the size. That's the legit, size of the powder like that's of uh, if you were going to go buy this um sorry right now they're selling a mini version and if you were going to go buy it that's pretty sure that's the size so that's really really good already impressed then some people might be like wait why are you excited by this because you complain about it all the time it comes with a milk blur stick now I'm going to give this away. In my giveaway video, I totally forgot that I was putting this in there until right now. So, if you watch the giveaway video just now, there's a bonus. You are also going to get the Milk Blur Stick because even though this wasn't my absolute favorite thing, um, tons of people love it. And I know a lot of people want to try it without spending like I don't know, is it $24 or $34 to get the full size? So this is a great way to try it. So I want someone else to be able to try it and see what they think. Um, so this is going into the giveaway, even though it was not in the giveaway video. Okay, other primers. So the other reason I wanted it was there were two primers that I was really excited about trying that I haven't tried yet. If I can get them out of the packaging. Okay. So one is the Primed and Peachy Cooling Matte Skin Perfecting Primer from Too Faced. Um, I'm really liking all the stuff in the peach line that I've gotten, and so I wanted to try this one. Let's see. We're going to open it. Eee! I don't want to, like, squirt it all out. Oh, it's not the consistency. It's not the consistency I thought it would be. It's peach, too. That's adorable. Um, so... See that little drop on my hand? It's peach. And it's kind of... Okay, it's like if a creamy primer and a pore filling, like a blur primer, like professional, had a baby. Um, so it's not quite as thick as a pore filling. Focus. It's creamier. It feels a little greasy. Ooh, but it does make it really matte. I'm super excited to try this. Okay, also I think I'm gonna do a primer showdown like how I did the concealer showdown. I'm gonna use a bunch of uh, primers because I've gotten a few lately. I just got my hands on the Farsali Unicorn one, which everyone is, like, it's not just Instagram famous anymore. 
people on YouTube are using it and saying it's really, really amazing. So I wanted to see, so I got it. Um, but now I'm going to have a bunch in here and I just got a bunch of others. So let's try them all out. Uh, so that one looks really interesting. Then the Becca first light priming filter. So I'm excited for this. I do want to look though how to use it so that, sorry, I didn't realize it wasn't in camera. Uh, this is it, the little purple bottle and oh, got to take off the foil. This I'm going to look up the best way to use it. So this one comes out, it comes out purple. It's purple. Sorry, my nails are terrible. And so it does, I think this is the one that's supposed to have a little bit of that like lip from within. Um, but it also says instant complexion refresh. I wonder if I could put it on later. I'm curious. Okay, I'm gonna read up on that one. I'll know by the time I do it in the in the challenge video. Then this too is really expensive on its own, and it's one of my favorites. Hourglass mineral veil. This stuff is legit. This is so stinking good. Let's put it on the other hand. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna waste it. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to wait. It is, it makes your skin feel like silk and it is so expensive that I can't I'm sorry I can't waste a drop to just sample it on my skin um, on my hand so you're just gonna have to wait for that primer showdown video but this is amazing okay so then this also comes with a hefty size of the photo finish primer water from Smashbox um, let's see what this says Hold 8 to 10 inches away from the face and mist evenly. Use as a primer before makeup application as a sweating spray to lock on your look or as a, fresh, a refresher to wake up your makeup. Use an upright position. I think I can handle that. So let's just spray a little. Um, I really sometimes like like the water kind of like this. I don't think I'd like as a primer, but I think it'll be kind of like the MAC Fix Plus that it's a nice like setting spray, and I do like the refresh. Oh, we got to pump it a while. Ooh, it's a nice mist. Sorry, that's me putting my face in the mist you can't see. Good mist. It has a powdery smell. So that's strange. Um, but yeah, I thought this was a good... I still have two more things. But I thought this was a really good set of like... Getting to try some things that buying full size would be quite the investment. Um, and the couple products I have tried before, I really, really like. Whereas some of the others, the full sizes they had, I'm like, or the, or like half the samples in it, I've tried before and kind of go like, it's fine. I don't really want to pay for it again. So this one I thought was a really good set for that reason. So last two things, two more sprays. I'm gonna I'm gonna spray them all. My face is gonna be like real set for the day. Um, one is the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray. And this one, shake very well before use, uh, after makeup application. Hold bottle eight to 10 inches away from face and mist evenly onto skin. Close eyes and mouth while applying. <laughs> no, <gasps> I thought I would drink it in. How dumb do they think we are? Okay. That was not a spray. Ooh, that's a fine mist. Okay. Do you look, how goofy do I look? Okay, that is a really fine mist, that's nice. Do I look luminous? No. Oh. All right, and then lastly, you know, I was happy when I bought this, but opening it all up is even more exciting. Lastly is the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Marine Boosting Mist. So this one, hold 8 to 10 inches onto clean skin before applying moisturizer. Okay, so this is like a prime of primes. Um, so this I will use in the morning. Let's just spray it. Does it want to come out? We're going to keep going. Oh... Mm, we may have a bust. Shoot. After I 
was all excited. Okay, there. Oh, good. Thank God. Ooh, that has a nice smell. I'm trying to think of what it smells. It's very aromatherapy smelling. Um, but I will try that in the morning. I normally use the vitamin C um, spray from Pixie. That does not have a good spray on it. That you are wet. You are wet. Um, but I'll rotate out. I'll put this on my bathroom sink and try that. And in an upcoming video, probably in an empties, you will hear my thoughts on it unless it makes favorites. That's possible. So that is everything in the Sephora Favorites Prime Set and Go. I'm reading it on the bottom of my floor. Prime Set and Go set. Um, what favorite set are you looking at getting for the holidays or during this value time that they have? Please let me know. And what of these products, if you've tried them, what do you really like? Let me know in the comments. I would love to talk with you guys. So please leave comments there. Uh, be sure to keep watching. Right now you should get some suggestions of other videos, so keep watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!